Hi everyone, this is Fen at the Beat Floor Studio, and I want to show you my new DIY bead spinner that my husband made for me. I have a video up of how he made the initial DIY bead spinner. Um, this is an updated one, um, a lot cooler. Um, uh, instead of, of a plastic base, he made this out of wood. And I got this um, little magnetic tin at Target. Um, I've seen these also at Michael's. So um, you can get one there. And the cool thing about this is I have a cover for my bead spinner. So I can have all of my beads in here. And when I'm done, I'll take it with me. So I definitely need to go back to Target or Michael's and get more of these. I hate shopping. I hate going shopping. So that's why I haven't gotten another one. I only go to the grocery store most of the time. Otherwise I do online shopping. But anyways, I want to show you today how much of the beads I can get. Um, because this was something that I was testing out today. I mean, I normally don't let it go down to much. Like if I have this much here, I would normally put more beads in because, you know, the rule with bead spinners is that the more beads you have in there, the easier it is to get the beads on the wire. But we are going to go see how far we can go. the flying bead. The other thing I love about this little bead spinner is that the beads don't fly off. That's good. I mean, don't fly off as much <laughs> as compared with a uh, traditional wooden bead spinner with a spindle. I did a comparison test before with uh, my bead spinner and the Spin and Bead Junior, and it was a tie on how much beads that you can get in a minute. So about the same amount of beads now you can get on the wire at the same amount of time. But today I want to see how far we can go. Um, the other day when I tried it. Um, I was able to go down to just 11 beads, so that's pretty impressive. Okay, it's getting incredibly hard now. So let's try one more time. I don't get any more in. And I'm going to call it a day. Aha, I have four more. I had like 11 left over. So I'm going to get have less on here. Okay. Oof. Okay, I am done. Let's see how many beads I have left over in here. And 14. I have 14 this time. And a broken white bead. So that's not bad. That's that's pretty impressive. Now, I would normally not do this. Um, I would put more beads in because uh, I'm spending a lot of time um, trying to get the last of the beads. 
uh, but just for this test, that's pretty cool. Now for kicks and giggles, let's try it on this Spin and Bead Junior. It is a mini bead spinner. It's smaller than their standard size, but it is comparable uh, to my bead spinner in size, just slightly shorter. So let's try it on here. See how many beads we can have left over. I'm gonna dump these beads in here. I have about the same amount, like around 11 grams of beads, but for this, I'm going to put it in this little um, kick tray, kick pan that I got at the dollar store because the beads will fly out for sure. See, with my bead spinner, there was uh, one or two, three max that flew out. Um, with this one, holy cow, man. And that's just how these bead, bead spinners are. So at the end here, I'm going to curve it like this so that I can hover it right along the wall of the spinner like this and see if I can get the last of it. Probably not because I'm getting increasingly frustrated at this point. I guess this is what's in the bowl. Um, let's see what's in the bowl. beads everywhere. I guess I can go down to 0.4 grams in the bowl um, if you're not counting all the beads that flew out. But if I want to put all the beads back in, Two point four grams of beads that are left over. Um, so, yeah, the DIY bead spinner with the little cups that are in here, or the traditional bead spinner. This little DIY bead spinner wins. If you want to see how um, this was made, I will put a link in the description below of how we made it, and you can make one too. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!